Bonjour. A lot of you have been asking me some more material related to this topic, which is discourse direct ou indirect. So here I am back with another video with more exercises so that we can practice this topic really well. So let's start with the first sentence. Vous demandez à Pierre partir tu demain. So let's understand, let's recapitulate this topic one more time. How do you differentiate whether a sentence is in direct speech or indirect speech? The first point to remember is when you see these brackets, that means the sentence is in direct speech. And when you are not seeing anything in between, that means the sentence is in indirect. So for your board exam, you will be getting a mixed question of direct speech and indirect speech. So let's start. First sentence. Vous demandez à Pierre, partir à tu demain. There is also something that you need to remember that this tense remains same. If they have given you futur sample in the sentence, you also have to change it to futur sample. The tense will remain same. If it is present, then you will also have to change it in present. Okay, so let's start. The best thing to do is that you can note down these sentences that I have written here first and then pause this video, come back again and then solve them and just see the answers. Okay, so let's start. So when, I'm, when somebody is asking to Pierre, they are asking directly, will you be leaving tomorrow? But when this question has been asked, can you see, we are going to join this with what? It's a question word. It's a form of question, but there is no question word here. That means we're going to join the sentence with C. Absolutely correct. So, vous demandez, vous demandez à Pierre si if he will be Conjugate accordingly. With you it was Paktira AS. With ill it will be Paktira Tama. If he will be leaving tomorrow. Next sentence. Il demand keller il a. So now this is a indirect. So when it will be direct, how are we going to write? Il demand. Open the brackets. Kel or reverse this. When you do it in direct speech, we always follow inversion. Keller ethyl. And what is keller ethyl? This is how we ask the time. Il de mont keller ethyl. Third part. La mama. La mama D a son face. Now let's see when the bracket is opening. It is which kind of sentence? You can see that it is which tense? Imperative. And for imperative, we join it with which equation? The plus infinity. La mama D a son face. The venir. This is how you join. To come immediately. To sweat. Next part. Elma demands ce que je veux. So she's asking me what do I want. Okay, so when she would have asked directly. How are we going to frame the question? Elma demands ce que changes to guess. Or ke. So, we can write kesku. <coughs> kesku tiu v. So, when she was asking me, Alma Dimon, she'll ask me, kesku tiu v. Alma Dimon, saka shava. So, Alma Dimon, kesku. Few verb. <coughs> Last part. Ilma Dimon, Ujava Ale is asking me where I want to go. 
Et ce que je voudrais boire. And what I want to drink. So, elle me demande who will remain same. Who but you? Who but you are A circle will change to Keske Tiu Vudre Tiu Vudre Buar. Then you put a question mark and then close the brackets. So we've seen five sentences here. The first sentence was in direct speech. Second one was in indirect, third again direct, fourth indirect, fifth was again in indirect and we have changed it to direct. I hope all the sentences are clear. Keep practicing and do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Fwar.